now welcome you to another section here on this course on Django. In this tutorial basically we are going to be covering the section overview and in this section we are going to be covering five important topics. So starting on with the first topic we are going to be cover is about the registration field. So we are going to create a registration field at the top of our website we are creating now. The second part of this section deal with the registration of the users. So we are going to register users so that they can be allowed to access the data or manipulate the data or add new destinations and things like that. In the third part of the section we are going to verify the data whatever data we enter in the form fields because we are going to create a form field when we are registering the users. So we are going to check for certain things for example if we are let's say typing two passwords the first password is going to be the password and then we are going to ask the user to enter the very same password again. So if the two passwords does not match then this is where that is going to be verified that these two passwords does not match and we are going to verify a lot of data as well. The fourth part of this section is deal with passing messages. Now as in verifying data I have told you that we are going to see if the two passwords does not match. So if the two passwords does not match we are going to display the message that the two passwords does not match and this is what is called passing messages in Django. So that message is going to be displayed in the browser window which is going to be a kind of an error message. And the last part of this tutorial is deal with the login and logout. So we are going to log in the user, we are going to do certain things and we are going to log out the user from our website. So this is going to be a very interesting section so I guess that's it with this tutorial. So you guys stick on to this section and grab everything. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And I welcome you to another tutorial on this course on Django. In this tutorial we are going to start on with the registration process and in the couple of tutorials ahead what we will be covering will be all related to the users that includes registering the user, login of the user and logout of the user. So starting on with the registration process. Now firstly we need to have the buttons on our website for the processes we want to encapsulate in our website. Now using the HTML what you can do over here is that you can create separate buttons for these processes or you can remove the present entities you don't found useful and replace them with the register, login and logout button. So what we will be doing is that we will go with option number two that is about replacing the entities. So if I just show you the website let me just run the server first python manage.py run server and it is going to take on some time and then I'll show you the buttons which we are going to replace and we are going to have the buttons which we want to use here that is about the register button, the login button and the logout button. Alright so finally our server is running let's just copy this address, open our browser window, paste it over here, run this Alright so this is our Traveloo website being loaded and so this is our website loaded over here. So now in place of this news you can write register and in place of contact you can just write in login. Now whatever you want you can do here cause this is not any kind of a technical thing. Alright now before we get into this stuff we need to create a separate application for the registration and login logout purpose. Now why do we need uh, why do we need to create a separate application over here since we already have an application that is named as calc and we are working with that application calc so far. Now till now we were dealing with the destinations only and we have the first application for that purpose. Now we are going to start a different module coding and that is the registration and login logout. So for a different module we can create a different application. Now this is just a good programming practice not a necessity to create a separate app. If you want to go on with the same app you can go on but I suggest that when you are creating a separate module then you need to go for a separate application so that everything is in 
a separate thing and when you want to look at it for some kind of testing and any other kind of process in the future or if someone who does not have a look at your code before and want to look at your code then he must find your code in a very assembled way so before we deal with this html stuff over here we will just move on to our compiler and we will just create our application over here all right so we will just close with our server and we are going to write in python manage.py start app and we are going to write the name of the app that is going to be let's say accounts since we are going to be dealing with the accounts of user in this application so just click enter and it is going to take some time to create a new app for you and all the files for it and yes the app has been created let's see where it is all right so i guess we have our app right at the top here this is our app that is named as account and in that we have our migrations folder and we have the remaining folders which we need as well all right so now what is missing over here is the urls.py file so from the calc file we are going to just right click this we are going to copy this file and right here we are going to paste this all right so the file name is going to be the very same urls.py and the location is going to be accounts just click ok and it is going to be created all right so now it has all the necessary things it has this admin imported this path imported and this views imported all right we don't need this admin over here but if it is here it is not going to hinder with any kind of our code all right so in the path over here what we are going to write in we are going to write in the name of the html page we are about to create where our users will be basically registered so it is going to be a kind of form which is going to be in html and that form is going to be displayed on the browser and we are going to enter the credentials of the user there and those credentials are going to be sent to the database where they are going to be registered all right so it is not going to be views.index anymore it is going to be views.register and the name is also not going to be register anymore it is going to be register it is not going to be index anymore all right so now since we don't have our page so the first thing we need to do over here is that we have to create our page as you can see that it has a line beneath it which means that it did not found any kind of this page so we are going to create our page in the templates folder right down here so we are going to right click it create a new html5 it is going to be html5 file and the name of that is going to be register click enter and that is our page created if you now go to you urls.py you can see that we have this page now created as it is register which is right here all right now when you are done with this html thing what you need to do is that in the urls.py of the project file what you have to do is that you have to provide the mapping for your new app you have created because this app has been created in that project directory but that project directory where we have this urls.py it does not know that this application we have created exists or not so we have to provide the url pattern for that over here so we are going to specify a comma over here we are going to specify the path the first argument is going to be the name of the application we have created that is accounts in our case the slash at the end then a comma and the second one is going to be include the urls file of this so it is going to be include accounts dot urls and that is going to do our job all right so that's good enough with our urls thing now our urls.py of the project contains the urls.py of the account so this means that our project file now know that we have an application created which is named as accounts 
All right, so now we need to move on to index.html and in index.html, what we are going to do is that we are going to create buttons of our choice. So in here, we have the buttons. As you can see that we have the home button, we have the about us, we have the services, we have the news and we have the contact button as you can see over here. So now what we need to do over here is that we need two buttons for now or let's just create a, a very single button that is about registration of the user. So we will only create a single button that is the register button. So what we will do is that we will remove these three buttons from here. And what we will do is that we will just copy this and we will paste it over here and what we will do over here is that we will create since this is going to refer to the register thing and we are going to write in register over here as well and this is going to be the name of the button which we are going to create now since this register is not a simple thing it is a part of accounts so we are going to also specify accounts a slash and then register over here and I guess that is going to do our job so let's just refresh our window all right we need to I guess run our server first yes our server is not running so let's just run our server to see if we have got any kind of errors so it is going to be run server click enter and it is going to verify if we have any kind of errors yes we have all right it says that accounts.views has no attribute register all right if you visit the urls.py of accounts we have specified here that there is a function named as a register in the views of this account so we are going to open this and we are going to create a view over here that is going to be named as register it is going to receive a request and let's just type in pass for now because we don't want to do anything over here for now all right so now it is going to reload and now it has got no kind of errors so let's just refresh this window now and yes we have got the button we need we have got the register button we have got the home button we have got the contact button and this is actually the button we are going to be dealing with all right so now we will just go on to deal with our register.html page which is right here but before we go on with the coding of this and we code our some kind of form where we are going to enter the credentials for registering the user we need to tell this views.py that you have to go on and render this register.html so in here we are going to write in return render the request whatever is being received and in here we are going to write in register.html and that is going to do our job now in the register.html we are going to create our form which is going to be used for the credentials entering so in the body tag here what we are going to do is that we are going to create a form and the action for that form is going to equal to register and the method for that is going to equal to post All right, so this is basically our form and in here we are going to create certain fields the first field input type is going to equal to text the name of this is going to be let's say the first name where we are going to enter our first name then we are going to specify the placeholder and this placeholder is basically what is going to be displayed so we are going to name it as first space name and then we are going to specify a line break so we are going to specify br so this is going to be our first field where the type is going to be text name is going to be first name and the placeholder is going to be first name so we are going to just copy this and we are going to paste it over here and for the second attribute the type is going to be text but this time 
it is going to be last name and this placeholder is also going to be last name as well let's just paste it over here again and for the third attribute the type is again going to be equal to text but this time this is going to equal to username and the placeholder over here is also going to be username and the next attribute type is now going to be something different because its type is going to be email and the name for that is going to be email as well and here the placeholder is going to be email let's just paste it over here again and this time it is going to be password and the name is going to be password1 because we want to enter two passwords over here the first password is going to be the password you want for the account and the second password is going to be the same password which you have to re-enter in order to ensure that you have entered the correct password and what you want to type in the first password so it is going to be password and then the placeholder is going to be password as well let's just copy this paste it again and this time the input type is going to be password as well but this time it is going to be password 2 and the placeholder is going to be confirm password all right so this is basically going to be our form now what we need to do over here is that we need to add a csrf token here as well and you already know what is a csrf token so we have to add the csrf underscore token over here so now the csrf token has been added we have our form in which we have got six fields first name last name username email password number one and the password number two for the confirmation purposes and finally what we are going to do is that we are going to create a submit button over here and the input type is going to be simply equal to submit all right so this is our form created and since we have got all the desired mappings for this form in every format in the views.py in the urls.py everywhere so what we need to do is that we need to only refresh our browser window all right so now when we click on register you can see that we have got our form which is requiring for the first name then the last name then the username then the email then the password and then the confirm password and then this submit button over here as well so we need to just go back for now now the data will be entered in these fields we have right over here and these fields whatever we fill in the data in these fields is going to be sent to the database to get stored and how it is going to be done how the data is going to be sent to the database how that is going to be stored in the database and how then that data is going to be fetched from the database when we need it for the login purpose because this is the registration process now when a user is registered he will be allowed to only log in not register every time so when a user is logged in how login for that user is going to be done is going to be a part of the future tutorials so i guess that's it with this tutorial and thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next tutorial